welcome one and all. I wish to extend our warm greetings to everyone who has joined this webinar. We are here to discuss an interesting topic, which is refining the maintenance process and empowering technicians through mobility. This topic would be applicable for all industries which have any level of maintenance. To introduce myself, my name is Abhilash. I'm a business development executive for Innomain CMMS, and I'll be your host for the day. Now, I know most of you are professionals with a little free time on your hands. So I'll try to keep the session precise and to the point. The following would be the agenda for the session. We'll begin with the major challenges that affect the maintenance process across industrial verticals, which to be frank, most of you would be already familiar with. We will also see how these challenges could impact the business on a day-to-day -day basis. Then we'll move on to the main reason we are here for, the strategies that would help us in overcoming these challenges. These strategies would be explained in a later part of this webinar would be helpful for you to understand the need for mobility capable CMMS solution. I will then illustrate why Inamin CMMS could be your preferred solution by giving you a demonstration of our mobile application and explaining our capabilities and offerings. Finally, we'll see some case studies of successful implementations of mobility strategy in a couple of clients of varying industrial vertices. I sincerely hope this session will be as informative as I intended to be for all of you. So without any further delay, let's begin the session. Challenges. Challenges isn't something new for us. As I mentioned earlier, most of you would be experts in your own field, be it industrial maintenance or customer service based maintenance. We all know any maintenance process comes with its own challenges. I will just highlight a few critical ones. The challenges start from the very beginning, even from the point of logging or recording the complaints we receive from the end users or from various customers. Since most industries use conventional methods like calls, WhatsApp, or emails to log complaints, it becomes difficult to gather as much information as we can about the complaint. For example, now let's say a customer is calling you to register a complaint. The most they can tell you over a call or email is that a machine or equipment is not working properly and they would request you to come and rectify the issue. Most times the customers or the end users would not even be able to convey the make and model of the machine correctly. Plainly speaking, that is not in their prerogative too. Likewise, other methods have their own drawbacks as well. The next challenge comes after the complaint is logged. Even if we have somehow managed to gather as much information about the complaint and the equipment under issue by using any of the above methods, how would we convey this to the person who would be attending this work? I know the answer most probably would be the same way as before, calls, WhatsApp, emails, etc. Without proper information about the issue or equipment under issue, it is not even possible to assign the right person to address the problem. So naturally, we'll assign anyone who is available. Now, they start to work on the machine and admit their work, they find that they need some assistance like they need to review the user manual of the equipment or they might need input or assistance from someone who's more capable or experienced in handling this kind of problem. Here, we are facing the next challenge. Providing the assistance they are looking for or assigning someone additional to assist the first person for the same work order. Even with both of them working together, there is no possible way for us to track the quality or progress of the work, which is underway in real time. Now let's say they have found out 
what the issue is and that a SPAR is required to fix the problem. Then again, the SPAR request, the SPAR dispatch and tracking of the SPAR usage also becomes a difficult task. The final challenge that would daunt any industry is to successfully maintain a service record of all the maintenance and SPAR utilizations being carried out within the industry. Without a unified platform to handle the whole aspect of maintenance would be an intimidating task for anyone. I hope I have covered the major challenges that anyone faces in the maintenance industry. If you feel that there are some more major challenges, please feel free to write to us in the email mentioned at the end of this webinar. We would be happy to get inputs from experts like yourself. Moving on, these challenges tend to have an adverse impact on any business. To start with, the inadequate visibility and transparency of the entire organization leads to indecisiveness and improper planning, which reduces the productivity of the entire workforce. This in turn leads to interruptions in customer service and reduces the customer satisfaction. Veterans like yourself would know better than anyone that customer satisfaction is the key to running a successful business. So naturally, we would face loss of customers and low ROI. We must understand the problems first so that we can identify the strategies which could be implemented to overcome them. These challenges might seem difficult to manage, but they can be managed by a few simple but effective strategies, which are planning, scheduling, and tracking the maintenance operation through an effective platform. As a maintenance team, we need to first define our goals for maintenance, which can be achieving zero unplanned downtime or to bring about a very low turnaround time for the customer service request. Once we have defined our goals, we have to decide on the types of activities to be done along with the frequency of execution so that we can reach our targets. We should also be equipped and flexible enough to handle any rescheduling or reassigning of the planned work. Next, by evaluating the proficiency of our technical team, we can identify and make sure that we assign the right person for the job. Once the work is assigned, we need to track the work progress and quality of work 24-7 to ensure that our plan is being executed effectively. Last but not the least, we need one final piece to achieve our goals. A unified platform which encompasses all necessary features to facilitate a smooth execution of the maintenance plan. That piece, ladies and gentlemen, is an effective and efficient computerized maintenance management system. Now, let me explain why Inamint would be the best choice to be your CMMS partner. Inamint CMMS has been in the market for the past five years and has accumulated several awards and recognitions. Our solution is trusted by more than 200 plus customers belonging to different industrial vertices across 10 plus countries. They manage more than 2 million assets and facilities through Inamint. Our application has also set a high quality standard by being SOC2 certified on the data security front and also ISO 27000 and 9001 certified for application standard. We offer a ready to use SaaS solution and also a customizable enterprise solution. Both these offerings come with a web and mobile application for anytime, anywhere access. To give you a better understanding of our capabilities, I'd like to present a demonstration of our mobile application.
we will start the process of logging complaints through the mobile application. What you see in the screen right now is a ticket tracers log. Any user can log a complaint within the mobile application by selecting create ticket icon at the bottom of the screen. Then the user can either select the asset information from the drop downs available or they can use the QR code scanning option present at the right top bar. By scanning the QR code belonging to the particular equipment, the user can automatically fetch all relevant information of that equipment. After selecting create ticket, the users can type their own defects or select the defect from the, the existing history of defects. Then the user can select the service category for the maintenance and the status of the equipment. Finally, the severity for this particular work order. They can add their own comments here along with any attachments like photos. These photos taken through the app can be annotated and attached with the in-image comments to better convey the problem faced by the end user. Along with the photo attachment option, we have additional attachment options like recording a video or an audio clip as well. By selecting the submit button, a work order gets created in the application with an auto-generated ticket number. This is how a ticket or a service request gets created in the application through the mobile app. Now, as an administrator or supervisor, we would need to review the created work order and assign it to the responsible person. To do that, we'll first view the initiated work order. I will just sort out the latest work order which we created. As you can see in the screen, this is the work order which we created recently. To assign this work order to the proper person, we can review the information belonging to the equipment and the information that is attached while creating this work order. So the asset details can be viewed here along with the attached and annotated image. By reviewing this information, the supervisor or administrator can assign the work order to the technician who is available. The availability of the technicians would be displayed by a green or red icon present near the user names. Now, as soon as we select the submit button, we can see the status of the ticket gets changed from new to assigned. This is how a work order gets assigned to a user through the mobile app. Now, since the work order is assigned, we'll switch over to the technician's login through which we can execute and complete the work order. This is a technician's login. A technician's login contains two sections. One is a schedule or planned maintenance section, which contains all the PPM activities assigned to the particular user. Next is a ticket section, where 
the assigned service request or breakdown request would be visible to the technician. By selecting the work order, the technician can view all relevant information belonging to that work order, including the asset details or the attachments which come with the initiation of the work order, the user guides, manuals, or any documents belonging to the model of equipment can also be viewed here, along with the service log. After reviewing these information, the technician can either accept or reject the work order. Once the technician reaches the assets location and is ready to start the task, they can check into the particular job. As soon as they select the check-in icon, they will be asked to provide a tentative duration to fix the particular problem. So after checking in, as you can see in the screen, the technicians are provided with additional options like requesting or replacing spare part, requesting for support, and the fixed on trial option. Upon inspection, if a spare is required to be replaced, they can select the request or replace spare part type. If they have the spare in hand, they can directly replace the spare part. Or if they do not have the spare in hand, they can request for the spare from the warehouse. Here, we'll simply replace the spare part. We'll select the location from which we obtain the spare part from. Then, we'll select which spare part we are going to replace for this particular work order. By selecting the quantity of the spare, the exact cost which is associated with this spare gets auto captured from the spare stock menu. This is how a spare gets replaced for the work order and the relevant information also gets attached to the existing work information. So, once the issue is fixed, the technician can select the fixed icon. You can also see that the downtime for this particular work order gets auto captured. The technician can type the completion means. The root cause for this particular problem, which is identified by the technician, can also be entered here. Along with the solution, they provided to fix the problem. This root cause and solution gets captured in the solution bank so that it can be recovered at a later point. The technicians also can add attachments like photos, videos, and audio clippings. Photos can be before service and after service photos as well. For example, while fixing a particular issue in the machine, they identify that a cable is damaged. They can take a photo of the damaged cable like this and annotate exactly where the damage is and mention their comments here. After fixing this issue, they can also add images of the replaced spare part.
After adding the before service and after service images, technicians can capture the signature from the ticket tracer to ensure or acknowledge the job has been done effectively. Along with this, the technicians can also obtain ratings and feedback from the customers through the mobile application itself. This is how a work order gets completed within the application. Now, since the work is done, you can see that the ticket status has moved from in progress to waiting for acknowledgement. The acknowledgement can be done by the supervisor or administrator. To acknowledge the work order which was completed by the technician, now I'll log in as an administrator and acknowledge it. First, we'll select a work order from the in progress section. To acknowledge the work order as a supervisor or an administrator, we we'll first review the quality of work. This can be done by reviewing the work log, reviewing the spare parts which, are, which were replaced during the maintenance, and the attachments which were added to the work order from the point of ticket creation to the point of work order completion. So, to acknowledge this particular work, we can select the acknowledge icon or to reopen the work order, we can select the reopen icon. To acknowledge it, we will need to provide the ratings and feedback necessary to improve the quality of work for that particular technician in any future work orders. We can also attach the signature through the digital signature capture option as you see in this screen. This is how a work order gets acknowledged. Once the supervisor approves the work order, the administrator will need to close the work order. They can do that through the mobile application itself. So by selecting the close icon, you can review the ratings and feedback provided by the supervisor. Add in their own comments if necessary, input their own signature, and close the service request. This is how a work order gets completed from the point of ticket tracing the acknowledgement and closure of the work order. Next, as an administrator, we will need to keep a track of the progress of the entire organization. It can be reviewing the status of preventive maintenance activities, reviewing the status of take maintenance activities, or viewing the key performance indicators for the equipment. This can be done through the widgets available within the mobile application dashboard. As you see in the screen, the key performance indicators for assets include work order initiated by category, preventive compliance percentage, availability uptime of the equipment, total downtime, mean time to recover, mean time between failures, and total spend time as well. Through all these information, we will be able to gauge the performance of the equipments we are maintaining within the industry or for our customers. These widgets can be populated by any specific time period required by the administrator or supervisors. There are also additional filter options available so that we can drill down on any specific data that we are looking for. Next, we have the work order comparison dashboard widget. 
This widget enables you to compare the work orders which you have planned so far versus the completed work orders. This is available for both preventive and regular maintenance. Next, the key performance indicators for the technicians or people include the average response time and resolve time of your technical team, their on-time arrival status, first-time fixed rate, the ratings they have obtained while completing the work orders. The top five repeated problems within the industries would also be highlighted here. So, as an administrator, you can be better prepared to handle these issues if these happen in the future. If you have any service level agreements, which you need to maintain for your customers, you will be able to see the SLA compliance percentage here as well. There are some budget indicators also available in the mobile widget dashboard, like number of hours worked by your technical team, number of breakdown calls initiated from the customer end, as well as spare parts being consumed for any work order executed within the application. Finally, we have a comparison dashboard that would enable you to compare two different locations or two different customers and see the relevant data available for each location. This would help you to gauge the performance of two different teams managing two different customers or locations. There are also additional options available at the bottom of the mobile application, like the ticket section, where you can see all the tickets available within the organization in a single view, and the task section, where all the scheduled tasks will be available. There are also a few additional options in the more icon, like the asset section, where you can view all the assets that are available within the industry or all the assets that you maintain for your customers. There is an option to view the spare parts as well. The spare parts can be viewed along with their current quantity and reorder levels. There are also additional options like preventive maintenance scheduling, monitoring, collaboration, or customer support. So, this is the overview about the mobile application that Innovin CMS has to offer. Thank you for sitting through the detailed demonstration. Now, we'll switch back to the presentation. Based on the demonstration, you would have already realized what our Innovin CMS mobile application can offer to you. I will just reiterate a few points. For the customers and technicians, we offer instant mobile notification for work order based alerts, QR code scanning feature for the ticket tracer to raise complaints easily, digital signature and rating option for both the customers and supervisors to register their feedback, OTP acknowledgement for job completion, geofencing and location tracking to manage the fleet boost, multimedia tickets with image annotation options, solution bank for anytime knowledge reference, offline work mode for the occasional remote area jobs, voice recording feature for the user convenience. For the administrators, we provide real time spare reorder level alerts, travel distance tracking feature to ensure that the field posts are being compensated properly. Multi-location management for industries who have more than one location to manage and an extensive report and dashboard section. Implementing mobility provides the following benefits in the maintenance industry. The stakeholders can be updated with the organization progress at any point of time. The unregistered users can easily raise a service request by scanning the QR code. The task of assigning work orders has become a breeze with the help of the mobile application. By effectively following the planned maintenance service, 
the service costs are reduced and we can execute more tasks in lesser time. By digitizing the maintenance process, the full service history becomes readily available. Finally, the service backlogs can be completely avoided by the use of mobility in maintenance. As a final part of this webinar, you will see some successful case studies of our clients who have successfully implemented the mobility strategy in maintenance operations. Maji's Technical Services is an open based company offering a variety of services to customers across Middle East. Their challenges were managing customers across various regions, tracking preventive maintenance schedules, organizing maintenance to improve overall efficiency was a difficult task as the workforce was scattered. Tracking technician performance also posed a challenge to them. They also required quick report generation so that they can submit the reports to the customers on time. To help address these challenges, we offered the following solutions. All their customer data was imported into Inomi through the bulk import option. Asset and user mapping was made easier by using the web and mobile app. The customer themselves were easily able to raise service requests. They were also able to track the technicians in transit. This enabled shorter wait time for the customers. Through these solutions, they achieved all of the following results, including retaining their ISO certification. So, to conclude this webinar, I implore each and every one of you present here to implement a mobility-based CMMS solution for your maintenance operations, through which you can get an improvement in service quality and customer satisfaction, accurate time tracking and advanced reporting, improved business productivity, and increased resource accountability. We are at the end of this webinar, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for spending your valuable time here. If you wish to implement a mobile solution for maintenance in your organization, feel free to contact us via the email and mobile number mentioned here. To know more about Inami CMMS, visit our website and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Once again, thank you for your participation. Looking forward to meeting you all once again.